everyone. I'm Wang Lan. When it comes to China and the world, we cannot overlook our beloved giant pandas. We have set foot on sunlit quarter, the snowy snow white union, the rich United States, and the culinary heaven of Japan, among many other countries. Everyone adores us so oh much. That's why they also adore China. Mingyang, would you agree? Meng Lan, you're right, but not entirely. Aside from the surface charm, I believe there's a deeper reason why the people of the world love China. That reason is love, benevolence. In Chinese, it's known as 仁爱. The character Ren originates from the combination of the Chinese of people and two, objectifies the mutual care between individuals. Over 2,000 years ago, the Chinese sage Confucius advocated the idea of a benevolent person loves others, a philosophy that has endured to these days. Thus, for thousands of years, our Chinese have steadfastly believed treating others with kindness is a special and noble form of wisdom. Whether in the simplicity of daily life or in facing the hardship of nature disaster, we Chinese always extend a helping hand to others. This kindness has become a spiritual symbol of our nation and a powerful emblem displayed on the world stage. Allow me to share two stories with you. Firstly, let's consider plotting in the Middle East a place long plagued by conflict. Day by day, people struggle amidst the chaos of war, continuous gunfire, and shattered home. They urgently need support and assistance from the international community. But in such complex situation, many nations hasn't answered. But China continues to open its arms wide. Although there are a lot of challenges, China hastily provides some essential supply such as food, water, medicine, and tents to them. We even send teachers and doctors to improve local conditions and even assist them to build schools power plants, railway, and roads to help them rebuild their new homes. Now everyone, take a look. Their eyes again brushed with a ray of hope. The other story dates to four years ago when the COVID-19 pandemic spread globally. After initially containing the outbreak, the Chinese ex promptly reached out to various countries around the world, including Russia, Italy, South Korea, Japan, Iran, and Spain. <coughs> Data shows that China provides billions in anti pandemic source to 153 countries, donated over, donated over 1 billion USD delivered more than 2.3 billion vaccine studies. How did you feel? Pretty impressive. Of course, our benevolent heart wasn't ignored. It had not only warmed the hearts of billions, but had also earned widespread prize from the international communities. When the Chinese expert team arrived, the president of Serbia kissed the Chinese national flag. The march of volunteers resounds through the streets of Italy. The prime minister of Cambodia welcomed the Chinese medical team via live a board case, attracting 600,000 viewers. A representative from the World Health Organization affirmed the right to of the Chinese actions. 
We must unite, unite, and unite. As we have seen, the line manifests a potent force that is capable of changing the world. China loves the world, and the world reciprocates its love for China. We warm each other's hearts, completing each other. Let each of us become the spreader of Renai, helping and moving more people through our words and actions, allowing the flower of Renai to bloom in every corner of the world. Let us embarrass each other tightly because we are family.